Hey everybody, I'm joining you from the newsroom to talk about this really cool special book, Music In My Head, brought to you by these two folks. Hey Jen, Abe, how are you guys doing? Doing good. Good, good, good. Good to see you both. Okay, so Jen, we'll start with you. What inspired this book to get started in the first place? Um, I was inspired by my eldest son. Um, he was diagnosed with ADHD and he has a lot of energy. And he, even at age five, six, seven, it's restless nights every night. And so it was a lot of time of me reading many, many bedtime stories and he just never would fall asleep. And so one night while it was me constantly telling him, you know, just relax, close your eyes, let's calm down. Um, I actually sat there with my laptop and started writing out some ideas and the story based on wow. him being restless and kicking his feet. And <laughs> so the story definitely started with him and him as an inspiration because after um, kind of going down that road, um, mm -hmm. just getting inside his head a little bit. And it, and that's been a big piece of this. Wow. Wow. Okay. So how did you get connected with this guy over here? How did you guys get connected? <laughs> Well, we are both Butler students, and after writing the story, I actually had a lot of parents who also read it. The intentions were to give this as a birthday gift to my son, and after a lot of parents read it, they said, you know, this really is relatable to a lot of us. You know, we're all kind of going through different situations with our kiddos. Um, some may be diagnosed conditions, some just may be they're just at that age and they run into sort of different frustrations with their kids. And they said, you really should do something with this because it's giving us kind of the messaging or the words that we can, you know, this is a good story to read going to bed. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I would love to see some of the imagery come to life, especially a lot of the stories um, in the book are directly from my son. They're his dreams. They're things that he talked to me about, whether it was, you know, taking him to school and him sitting in the back seat. I would always say, you know, what, after you finally fell asleep, what did you dream about last night? And he would always have those vivid details and stories. And so I thought it would be really cool if I could partner with an artist and still thinking along the lines of just a birthday gift for him and for him to see a lot of his dreams come to life. Like how cool would that be? And so I wanted to work with another student. Um, I'm a big advocate of just young talent and trying to get folks like get their foot in the door. And I mean, I'm in town acquisitions, <laughs> so recruiting and that sort of thing. And so I just really wanted to give that opportunity to somebody. And um, I reached out to the School of Art at Butler and um, just put out the project idea. And I had students start submitting portfolios. So I selected a bay based on his artwork. I mean, I we had never met in person. We hadn't even talked on the phone or anything like that. Um, I just loved what he did. I loved his work. He did some early sketches of the book, which shows a lot of drive and motivation and a lot of college students wouldn't just say, hey, you know what, I may or may not get this job, um, but I'm going to go and take a stab at it and just do a lot of extra drawings and work. And he did. Like, he just went over and beyond. Um, and it was just, I loved it. Loved the portfolio. Awesome. So then I, I said, let's work. She, she, she talked you up, man. She talked you up big time. Okay, what does it feel like to be the number one draft pick, the illustrator behind this thing? What does it feel like? Um, it was Cool. Um, so I got the email from um, Amy, who was the dean of the art department, and I read through the um, email. I was very interested in it. So um, I emailed Jen. And I was like, you know, I would actually like to take a crack at this. And when she told me that other students were um, also interested, I was very determined to get it. Um, so I made um, quick sketches and just sort of show like what I could do or why I would be perfect for this. And I actually chose this story because um, it is about, you know, mental health. And as someone who suffered um, from clinical depression, I was sort of, I, I related to it in a sense, mm -hmm. um, because there are times where you, I have those restless nights and, you know, can't sit still, can't do anything but draw. So I was like, I need to do this. Um, and also, 
I want to do it for my niece that would that was born last month. So I was like, this would be a great, you know, gift for her. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. So you know what? Uh, I want other people to get this book, but I tell you right now, I got to get this book because I have a restless uh, infant, a one-year-old that uh, needs to go to sleep. So, <laughs> guys, I want you guys to support this book, Music in My Head. Uh, thank you both for joining us.